Today we're going through why, in fact, you may need an XLR microphone instead of a USB microphone. There is a microphone I did a review on recently, the Rode PodMic USB XLR. Uh, I'm going to link to it so that you can go and check it out if you want, but watch this video first. In that video, I give you a proper review of the difference in sound between the XLR and the USB inputs. Spoiler alert, both are good, but something I didn't go through in that video that I want to make sure you're aware of when you're making a decision as to whether to get something that needs USB or something that needs XLR is the lead. The cable that you're going to use is going to tell you what you actually need to buy as the microphone that you're going to use for your podcast. If you're only going to be sitting at your desk recording and you're not going to be any more than like 1.5 meters away from the cable connection, so if you're plugging it straight into the back of your computer, you will be fine to just get that Rode pod mic and just use the lead that's included in the box. The lead is about one meter long and I could easily connect that from the microphone into the back of my computer. I don't need it to be long. But if you are hoping to record a little bit further away from your input source, meaning you're not going to be able to plug it straight into the back of your computer, you want to sit at a couch, you want to be a little bit further away from the actual source, then you're going to need an XLR input device. So luckily this microphone, the Rode PodMic has both connections and it's future proofing you if you're gonna be at your desk first and then you might move to another location when you're a little bit more comfortable with the process and with the medium. I actually contacted Rode to talk about whether there was a cable that was longer, that was approved by Rode to plug into your USB microphone into the back of, you know, whatever the source is that you're gonna be recording into. Rode has advised that kind of the maximum is like 1.5 meters long because any longer than that, you're going to have issues with dropouts. You're gonna have issues with connection not being as clear, as crisp. The sound is going to start to be distorted. With an XLR connection, you can have almost infinity length, <laughs> you know, like you can have a really long XLR lead and I have many, many, many of them uh, that are around 10 meters long. It means that you can be sitting much further away from your input source. So I could be sitting at a couch, I could be in another room, I could be whatever, and then use my XLR lead, plug that into my Rodecaster Pro 2 or my Focusrite Claret preamp that I have here or any preamp and have it be further away with there being no issues of dropouts or connection loss. If you're going to be or want to be further away from the actual recording source, then you're going to need this XLR situation for your microphone. It also means that you're going to need, you can't just plug a XLR lead into the back of your computer. You're going to need a preamp or some sort of recording device to actually plug it into. There's heaps out there. There's a few that I recommend and I'll put in the description of this video and in the show notes on podcast platforms. It will mean that it's gonna cost you more to get going, but you can be wherever you want and use the XLR lead and you'll get a fantastic connection. So hopefully that's clarified for you what you're gonna need for your cable situation. As I said, go and watch that other video if you're interested in the actual sound, like how it sounds XLR versus USB. There are a few differences that you know, to the trained ear you can certainly hear, but the biggest difference being you're gonna need length if you're going to be sitting further away from your recording device. If you've got value out of this video, if you have any questions, put it in the comments, subscribe to the channel, like the video. I'll be giving you all sorts of tips about podcasting, tech, microphones, reviews, all the things that you might need to know about podcasting. I hope you have a great day.